Welcome back to Bathurst Diecast Racing. Today, we've got American Muscle. We have the Mercury Cougars. The first is a 1968, he weighs 34 grams, his name's the 76ers. The second is the same, same weight, name's Camo Fire. The third, same name, same weight, and the purple, it's the Purple People Eater. And then we have the Champion. All vehicles are the same weight, as you can see. They're all the same brands, 1968. Gorgeous vehicles. So let's uh, have a look at the track temperature. It is a balmy 34, nearly 35 degrees centigrade, 94.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's see if this race gets any hotter than that. Here they, oh, here they are, they're starting their away. Oh, it's pretty tight between the first three. Purple people let us fall behind a little bit. Champions out ahead with Kylo Fire. The 76 is in close pursuit. Purple People Eater's got eaten too much by the look of it, and he's been weighed down. First three are very tight. Champions in the lead, though. Camo Fire is right on his hammer. He's putting the heat on him. He's putting the blowtorch. Looks like Purple People Eater's slipped on some KFC there, or KF People. And Champion looks like he's going across the line. Camo Fire in second. And the 76ers in a close third. Those three were quite tight at the start. Let's come and check the replays out. This is uh, Purple People Leader. Just whacking the wall, getting sideways. Losing it completely. That's no good if you want to compete at Bathurst. The chase. Well, he's going to be chasing now. So it's champion. Full points at five. Camo fire four. 76 is 3, Purple People Eater didn't make it into the tyres, 0 points. Here we go for race 2, and they're away, change positions. Looks like Camo Fire's way out ahead here by the look of it. 76 is in 2nd, Champion in 3rd. But Camo Fire is showing a clean pair of heels. He's down through Forest Elbow. Oh, and Champion's had a spin. Oh, sideways for Camo Fire, spinning for the champion. Camo Fire's got it back under control. 76 is his hunting him down there. That little mistake gave him a little uh, bit of breathing room. But 76 is, looks like he's in the lead. Se uh, sorry, Camo Fire's in the lead. Sideways again. And Purple People Leader and champion just stops. So across the line, it's Camo Fire, followed by the 76ers, and very slowly by Purple People Eater. Champion gave up. Well, there's a setup for the books. Camo Fire actually just got up, got down, and boogied. Here's, uh, looks like uh, the 76ers trying to make a move on the outside of Champion. Does he get it done? Absolutely. Overtakes him down the straight. Here's the slide by Champion. And that gives the opportunity for Purple People Leader to get right by. Well, that brings Camo Fire to 9 points. The 76 is to 7. Champion on 6. And Purple People Leader on 3. Here we are for race 3. Looks like Camo Fire's just taken the lead again. Oh, he is clearing away. The other three are very, very close. Oh, the 76ers and Purple People Leader got taken, got caught up there. And they got caught up again through Forest Elbow. It looks like someone stopped. Camo Fire's way out ahead. There's been a spin. Oh, they haven't Oh, yeah, he has. 76ers have stopped. Oh, and it's just miles. It's daylight between Purple People Leader. Champion is coming way behind there as well, but look at... Oh, Camo Fire. He is on fire, ladies and gentlemen. He is just gone. And, uh... <laughs> Purple People Leader oh, he gets smacked in the nose by Champion. Which looks like it may push him across the line. We'll have to wait and see. 
Absolutely it does. Gives him maximum points. Champion. You didn't do yourself any favours there. But how about Camo Fire? He is just making a joke of the rest of the field. Here's the, uh, the confrontation between Purple People Peedle, <laughs> the Triple P, and the 76ers. But Triple P spins it. Champion looks like he tries to make a move up the inside and he gets it done. 76ers gives up the race. And uh, Champion doesn't do himself any favours there. So it's Camo Fire. He is the winner with 14 points. 8 for Champion. 7 and 7 for the other two. Ah, oh, that was race 3. Goodness gracious. Now it's race 4. 76ers is out in the lead. Which looks like uh, Purple People Eater in, in, in second. That's a tongue twister. Looks like he has a bit of a spin though. What happens here? Champion's right in the rear end of Camo Fire. I don't think he's real happy about his positioning. But 76ers is in the lead. Oh, he has a bit of a whack there on the wall. Oh, how close was that? Oh my goodness gracious. Well, that was very tight. Looks like, yeah, he's hit that wall. Triple P's trying to get up the inside. But 76ers makes it across the line first. But it changes nothing. Camo Fire wins with 17 points. Purple People Eater 11, 76 is 12, and Champion dead last. Well, you can't win them all. So the Flame Green, Matt Green 1968 Mercury Cougar is moving on to the race of champions. So it's congratulations to LRL, the Lords Racing League, Chris Hood, Big Keg, Hoboy Racing. Well done, fellas. And Double X Slayer, Hot Wheels Boys, and Jake Damas. Oh, that's a good one, cuz. That's some good racing. But if you want some more, click here or here. And thanks for joining us on Bathurst Diecast Racing.